mark the page. <laughs> Uh, this is a quote by L. Friade uh, Jelinek. Um, the storm, sorry, the storm caused by our God, sex, sends us all to our ruin by the shortest route. And I think you can uh, read into that what you like. <laughs> but there are certain pleasures I won't deny myself. Who you to, I mean, uh, I saw a woman, I saw a woman actually. Uh, we met at uh, a bureau, uh, a dating bureau. Dating bureau, yeah. Dating bureau, what? Dating bureau, and uh, Spectrum. Spectrum, yeah, above Andre's, the hairdressers. It, yeah. And that's uh, so why I get my fat sweat. Vic gets his hair done now as well, don't you, Vic? It used to be a carpet shop, do you remember? It did, yeah, Tony's. Years and years yeah. ago. Yeah. I had my whole way down there. That's right, yeah. yeah. I went along there and they do videos, you see, they video you. And uh, funnily enough, I, I never got videoed because uh, whilst I was waiting in the reception area, very plush uh, offices, uh, there was this beautiful, uh, glamorous blonde woman, absolutely beautiful. I thought, Christ, she's 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 so uh, good looking. Uh, having a seizure. It was a grand mal, uh, a proper tonic clinic. So I'd actually gone to the floor, uh, and I was flailing. It was quite literally love at first sight, wasn't it, Vic? Well, yes, yes. Certainly for me. Yeah. Uh, your, your sight didn't return for, I think, three or four days fully. <laughs> oh, bless you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, 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 really love. Oh, 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 it's good to see you. Oh, my God. Good to see you. Looking very well. Well, I suppose in many ways our, our relationship is quite conventional. You know, we, we, you know, we do normal things. We, we go are. shopping. We clean the house. Uh, Vic tends to his coy carp. You know, one reaches a certain a point in one's life uh, where you realise you're still you're still a, a living, breathing human being with needs and desires, and you know you're not dead. You're not dead. We you, we both developed uh, an almost incontrovertible desire to be stretched sexually. Uh, do you know what? Yeah. I, I actually start to think I'd rather get the cancer than the moon. Oh, don't <laughs> say things like that. <laughs> Oh, honestly, no, I mean it. I know it's no. an awful thing to say, but that's awful. Uh, I'd say our sexuality is very open. Uh, we talk about what we like and what we don't like, um, what we're into and what we're not into. Some people call it a fetish. Some people call it, uh, I think they call it a kink. Uh, we like to call it flavours, uh, sexual flavours. Uh, you hungry now, Del? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Must be hungry. Really really oh, very it's hungry. Very hungry. Yeah. 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 Why don't they come with us? You like it in there, Mark? You hungry? Yeah. 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 Lindy, come, come Paul. No, there's no. vegetables. So Vic and I will go to the club of a Sunday, uh, have a few drinks, a bite to eat. Um, and uh, well, I say bite to eat. When I know it's going to happen, I get very nervous. Nervous stomach. Little things particular. Flavour, it's, it's quite unusual, I have to say, I've, uh, I've read about uh, a few of them and uh, this, is a, this was a new one on me. So we'll go out in the car, uh, the week before I'll choose um, a destination on my ordnance survey map, I'll sort of you know, pick somewhere random. I like it to be right out in the sticks, amongst hedgerows, fields, forests, woods, that type of thing. So let's be driven out into the countryside, uh, a minimum of eight miles from home. Right, this'll do. Well, oh, come on then, Vic, tell me to get out. Uh, get out. No, say it like you mean it. You, you ate me or something. Get out. No, say I'm lucky to be alive. Uh, you're lucky to be alive. That's it, you're lucky to be alive. You're lucky to be alive. Thank you. You're not wearing shoes, Delph. You're going to get... He verbally abuses me. Uh, he says some hateful things. He'll say things like, uh, well... I can't really do an impression of Vic, but he'll say things like, uh, get out of the car, uh, you're lucky to be alive, uh, it'll be worse next time, that sort of thing. What do you, throw it? Well, just, just, just whatever you want to do. Then he'll just shut the door and uh, just give me like a filthy look, you know, and then drive off. And then uh, what I have to do is uh, make my way home. And that, that to me is where the charge comes from. That's what I love, It's you know, the walk home. Truth be told, uh, I can't say I enjoy it. No, I, I find it distressing. Yes. The fact that I don't know where I am, uh, I get lost across fields, I get scratched to buggery by brambles, I've fallen in ditches. Uh, I was nearly attacked by a fox last week. And I thought I'd be on a tree for 20 minutes. <laughs> well, I discussed it with uh, well, my best friend, Karen, and... Uh, she was shocked, frankly. We haven't spoken for six months. 
Why are you done this to me, Vic? Why are you done this? Full of food. We uh we don't uh, we sure don't engage. Del we don't engage in, in no, coitus. technically, we don't engage in coitus. No. But for me, for me, I still class it as making love. Oh, it's, I don't know. It's uh, it's just something about it. It's something about feeling lost. It's like a it's like a huge chasm of doubt. You know, as to whether I'll get home safely, and that's where the turn on comes from. You know, and uh, you know, sometimes I feel the sort of some little sort of you know ricochet around my body, you know, for for a good minute each time. And uh, I've been known to sort of run into dabble figures on the walk home. <laughs> of course, uh, Vic's uh, kink or flavour uh, is uh, was not unusual. Uh, I struggled with school. Yeah. For, for a long while, we used uh, chat called Frank, didn't we? Polish That's chat. Right, Polish. Uh, yeah. But uh, towards the end, he started uh, spitting and yeah. using foul language, and you can't abide that bit, can you? I cannot abide cursing. No, it's awful. Absolutely, we had to get rid There's of it. There's no need. Yes, this is very late for Delphine, I'll, uh, I won't lie. It's quite late, uh, it's taken quite a while today, and uh, I might actually phone a couple of people. I think just, you know, she may have popped in for a cup of tea or, or something. Oh, I think. Oh, Delph, darling, it's you. Come on, God, come on in. Bleeding raw yes, out there. I know, there. I know, I've been worried sick. Oh, got yes. bloody lost, didn't I? Ended up down by the sodding bypass. Well, oh, that's miles away. I know, I know now. How many, uh, how many did you uh, clock up? 14. Oh, that's not bad, darling. You've done me bubbles. Life is not a dress rehearsal. It's not a fire drill. It's the fire. You ain't getting out. <laughs> You're gonna put...